Okay, so I'm curious to see what this Fort Condor thing is because I do know about it. I have played um, the Yuffie integrated stuff, and there was kind of a Fort Condor thing in that. It was like a mini game, a little board game where you put units on it, and it would. It's kind of like an RTS in a way, and I think I've gone in it. I've gone into a bit of explanation as to how I feel about RTS as a genre. It's not my favourite. I, I don't like it that much. It, Maybe it's too complicated for me, maybe it's something like that, but for the most part I don't really play those sorts of games. But we'll give this a go, see how much fun it is. If I get any good stuff from it, then I'll do it, but we'll see how it goes. And apparently these open up across the game, so I'm going to be using that for the most part. We've been fighting the shit on this battlefield for a long time. Still, still say I didn't for a long war of them. Can you spare some time and help us fight them? We don't want to sound pushy. So we both do the same, why don't you finish uh, that first? Uh, I'll help you, why not? Yeah, you think I'll help him, they'll fill you on the details. So this is like an RTS, as far as I know anyway. Which I found was interesting, considering this game is very old. <laughs> and, I mean, mini games existed all the way back then. But not to this extent, where it's like a full, fully, fully like, like, little just strategy game inside of this. Kind of shows that how much people love this game and they have little things like this in here. Anyway, here we are. Hi. Hmm? Now, this is something I never thought anyone ever climb up here. Your eyes are different. Well, anyhow, any minute now, this will be a battlefield against Shenra. You best get down before you get involved. Oh, I'm here to help, actually. <laughs> You mean Shinra? And they literally just said that to Tifa. Shinra? The hell are those jackasses doing here? It appears you have a problem with Shinra too. After all, you climbed up here. Why not listen to what I have to say for a moment? I guess so. Do you know what's at the top of this mountain? Huh? Something's up here? Probably something that's worth Shinra's soldiers trying to get to, right? Come on, let's just get, let's get it together. The reactor and the condor. I can see you're very perceptive. Yes, it's a reactor and a condor. It seems the Shinra doesn't really like the idea of having a condor on top of the reactor. Hmm. Damn, that's one big bird. Why are they trying to get rid of it with weapons? What's so wrong with having a condor on top of the reactor? It, it, a condor isn't a big bird, okay. It seems there's some type of special material in the reactor above us. <gasps> and because the condor came, the Shinra rushed the troops here. The military want to get the condor and the, all the villagers off this mountain. The condor is now warning, warming its egg, which hatches only once every few years. We would like to protect the condor from being harmed. New light. Yeah, children. I'll do it! I'll protect them from Shinra! Condor's egg? A real work of nature. We're gonna protect the life of the planet. Hmm. Unfortunately, we don't have the ability to fight Shinra ourselves. That's why we have hired soldiers to help us. As our sponsor, you can help us with a contribution of, by fighting alongside us. What do you think? You want to join our fight? Mm. What's there to think about? We've got to do it! Cloud. Alright. Cloud thanks. I mean, we came all this way up anyway, so we might as well have a look. Hey, welcome to the rescue! Mm-hmm. We'll see how this goes, right? So there, there is special material up here as well, which is going to be useful, I think. And also, we obviously want the condor to hatch his eggs because only every few years, so... Let's rest, okay, so there will actually be combat, that's good to know. And hopefully it's balanced to my level, fingers crossed. I think it will be. But just to make sure. Let's make sure we actually rest, and then we'll save as well. Yeah, so as far as the uh, mini game worked in, uh, I don't want to rest again, guys. Um, as far as the mini game worked in uh, remake and integrate, it was a board game, like kind of like a Gwent, where you walked around the Sex and the Sum slums and talked to people about it, and they would play a game with you. And basically, the objective was to destroy the most amount of outposts, or destroy all their outposts on their side, 
with a certain cards that you would have. And you change your cards you had um, after every uh, game. Can't do it inside of the game, obviously. And the objective was was to try and obviously take down the outposts, but also have cards that were strategically designed to deal with certain enemy cards. Like, for example, range attack magic. Magic attacks melee, melee attacks me. Something like that, I think. I don't know if that was correct, but along those lines, at least. Oh, hi, guys. And you got a lot of rewards for it in Integrate. In fact, it was one of the things they recommended you do uh, for your Feast DLC because it actually gave you a lot of cool stuff that will be useful in the story. You hang in there. <gasps> ah. We buy five uh, of these, four of these, nine of these. There we go, nice. I love that. <gasps> well, I think I'll go with my, with my current team. I am going to swap out after this Fort Condor because I like having need for diversity. And obviously, I need to get everyone leveled up as well. So, the plan is, is to go do this. Uh, and then play with other characters as we go along. And the way I will be doing leveling right away with, with my entire party is I want everyone to be leveled up because there's, there may there may always be the, the situation where I'm going to have to bring in certain part, certain party members for certain things. So I'm going to have it so that uh, everyone is appropriately leveled as much as I can. Maybe involving taking the old party back with me to, to that to the area I just went through and leveling up on the same enemies. Along those lines, anyway, that's the plan. Um, I want to change how I approached it because of nine, I was fairly lazy with how I was leveling certain characters. I basically just never leveled Freya and Amarant, but that wasn't really required in that game, to be fair. Um, six, I didn't realize you'd have to take about 12 pipe members into the final area. And when I did find that out, I did start leveling up them all. So that was fine for the most part. And 15, you didn't have to do anything with that. And 4 was also fairly nice in how they handled their leveling scheme. They basically just had a pre made party for the entire game. And it would change and shift. And then, of course, you could like change your party at one point in the story, but it was kind of just not really done. Can I get the stairs, please? There we go. <gasps> oh, look at, this, look at this giant bird! I love it! It's great! Hey, what do you need my help for? Thanks for accepting. So shall I let you in on our strategy? The enemy have targeted a mountain reactor, we'll be climbing to reach it. We must set a trap and hire soldiers to protect the place. Oh, this is all we have. The city doesn't have, really have any money. Even if we wanted to fight, we can't because we're broke. We need 400 gil to hire one soldier. So if I hire 20 soldiers, we need 8,000 gil! We need to ask you to use some of your own money to hire these soldiers, buy the equipment, set it up, and give you the commands. If you have the time, we need help us with the donation. If you donate the money, we can hire the soldiers to block Kinner's attacks. Oh, because you have to find them off immediately. It's not the end of the world, but if you do appeal, it could be dangerous. As of anything we should ask. Uh, yeah, funding. We have 15, okay, 1,000 gil right now. We need 3,000 gil for each battle. How much can you get help? I can give you 3,000 gil. Thanks, this makes 1,800 gil. How much can you help? Ah! Uh, <laughs> oh, my money! Oh! I'll give you 2,000. Hopefully it will be fine. Conditions for victory. You can win by wiping out the enemy or killing the enemy commander. The enemy reaches the shed, they are attacked, but you have no choice but to battle immediately. If you lose John to direct contact and the enemy gets to the actor, uh, there's still a chance to win. But it's only a slight chance, we have no idea how much you have to keep the draw on an attack. When we can't defend against the attack any longer, the Shin will take our lives, the condor and the materia in the reactor. No pressure then. I hold it to enemies, wyverns, wyverns. I can fly at high speed, stoner, and try stoners are affected against them. These are monster types that do not move quickly, but have explosive, explosive attacking damage. Just a 
Wyvern, Stone, and a Fly. Barbarian, uh, Thief, uh, it happens since they don't have any toes. Commanders, ah, uh, the enemy clan is the one who has a superior for the middle foes. Okay. Type of soldiers. Your mobile allies are fighters, attackers, defenders, shooters, repairers, and workers. Your mobile allies are stoner, tri stoner, catapult, and fire catapult. Which you want to hear about, mobile forces. Oh my god! Do it defend and attack and blast with your at or deficient for any enemy. This is balanced. Attackers. Best for command the front line and work against enemy beasts, but not enemy barbarians. We're so the best uh, use for defense, but not enemy wyverns. Okay. Shooters. Tap from distance without low endurance. Well, guess against enemy wyverns, but not enemy beasts. Yep, fine. Has uh, allied units battle middle attack and power. Okay. Except mines. Mines have strong attack and power, but workers don't. Mines are swimming touched by the enemy and spoke more damage to everything in the immediate area. Everything to even people as well on our team. Okay. Immobile forces. Stoners. Can fire a single boulder, causing extended damage to every enemy it hits. Okay, three boulders, I assume. Yeah, three boulders simultaneously cause it to every hit that we hit. We can't use the tri soda fire catapult because they are still not ready. Okay, I'll find out about them later then. Catapults shoot rocks a great distance, causing it to to every enemy they hit. So I don't want to, like, spend all my money straight away because I thought like there's going to be multiple rounds of this. So do hear report about cat moving. We beat you up with the vet and all the time to use the We time to help us, but we didn't have time. We probably fire for some Oh, okay, enough. I'm ready to go. So we're ready to attack! Please, any help is appreciated! Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah! Uh, okay, ready. Oh. <laughs> oh! I gotta get some money! Okay. Let me go do that, and I'll say it beforehand so I don't scum it up. So I'll go, I'll switch my party out so I can level up the people who haven't leveled at all. And then I'll be back after that with the money and the time to do this. Right, give me a sec. Okay, I think we're ready to go and do some Fort Condor. Okay, I got a fair bit of money now. Uh, I'm gonna give it to him because he needs it. Here we go. You need, you need to bring your girl for each battle. Don't lie to me, you need 4,000. There you go, that should be enough. Nothing right now. Okay, I'm ready. We're short a little bit of money. What? I just gave you money. I just gave you money! Oh! Wait, do we have to actually give him the money to actually play the game? Oh! <laughs> Ooh! Okay! I'm gonna go do that quickly! And it didn't take me like 15 minutes! Oh! It took me so long to get that. 4,000. Give me a sec, I'll go get that money. I thought you meant in the bank. I thought it was enough money to do the budget. No, it turns out I need 4,000 gold to actually play the game. Okay, understood. Well, I'll be back, back again. Ah! Why, oh, hi. No. No. No! I want to talk to you. Hello. <laughs> I'm ready to go. 
You have 10 enemies. There appears to be many beasts, so you may want to deploy more attackers. Okay. Okay, so that's where they're coming from. Attackers will probably be placed on the front line. How far is that? It's here. Okay, right. So attackers. Boop. You can go there. You can go there. You can go there. You can go there. Uh, we'll get some defenders. Well, there's no point having defenders because this is gonna, the beasts are going to kill them very quickly. So we'll get some... Get two shooters here. Uh, and then we'll also get a catapult here. I'm allowed a catapult. Stoner. Yeah, stoner here. And also a stoner. Yeah. So we've got four attackers, they're uh, all looking after this route. This route isn't really being protected right now, so I'm going to put another shooter here. Uh, in terms of repairers, we'll just put like two repairers here. Well, actually single repair, because now I have money. Well, here we go. I've set my units game. See how well we fare. Alright, so we got our boys, our polygon boys all defending here. We've got these guys throwing things as they try and get down this middle where they're gonna get fucked either way. The the side routes are a little bit less protected, but that's why I put some shooters there to stop them. Are these guys coming? Oh here they are. The beast. The monster. Are you honestly going the right route first? Oh my god, you are as well. <laughs> Yeah, I like to increase the speed of combat, please. Not really any, any way I can do it. Oh, but he's still good. Oh, well, well. Okay, so they're going that way. He's going that way. I got these guys going from the, there. Are they actually... No, none of them are going to the middle. We might be in trouble. Okay, there's this thing. A wiper, and that goes down the middle pathway. It'll be fine, but... It, I think they're actually going to go down the side pathways. Oh, no! There's one going down here. He's going to get fucked by that stoner. Here. One of these two. This is, this is quite worrying because there's only two boys here. Shooters are good against Wyvern, so assuming that he takes him out, he can take him out, and then uh, it depends on which way they go, I guess. There are a lot of them going this way, holy shit. <laughs> oh no! Flower injured! Wait, the bird's going first! Yeah, uh, uh. Tap the dog, okay? Oh god. And they're all going that way, of course, because of course they are. Uh, yeah, we're in trouble. <laughs> Oh, well, here we go. This is going to work out well. I think, maybe. Oh, well, they killed that boy, didn't they? Uh, okay, you need to go over there and, and kill this, this guy now. Go. Quickly, run. Faster. Enemy destroyed. Nice. Okay, they destroyed one of us. We destroyed one of them. No. No. Fuck off. Is that how it works? Run! Run! Go back this way! Go back this way! Go let's run! 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 Fucking run! Run! Flee! Let, let, let the stoner kill him and then we'll go around here and kill this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No! Oh, okay, you killed it. Good. Okay, good. Nice. Okay, nice. Nice. Now, now go round here and kill this guy. Go. Oh, fuck. Oh god, they killed him. Okay, direction, change direction of that to this way. 
you got to deal with that when that appears. Uh, we still got some shooters. We've also got a lot of bad stuff coming. Keep attacking. God. This. What? I, I don't. I mean, to be fair, I guess I'm terrible at strategy games. I don't really see what I could have done here. And also, it didn't, it didn't kill! The stoner was said to be powerful against Wyverns! Hallelujah! Yeah, it's very powerful! Look at that! Amazing! We still got this guy coming, by the way. Can we more spawn more troops? Oh, we fucked now, basically. I think we are fucked. I don't understand what I could have done differently here, because in terms of money, if I could have had more money, like, I thought I gave them funding to deal with this. That's what I thought the money was for, but if the money is just for them, then fuck. Okay, right, uh, you need to go for that guy now. We are in the shitter. I can't believe that stone didn't kill that guy. I thought the point of those, those things was to destroy the wyverns, but it just didn't. That's fun. Keep attacking it. Still got a stoner here. Well, that's gonna do any good. Hi. <laughs> How's it going? I guess you gotta attack now because yeah, we're fucked. We're fucked. Uh, how do I stop this game? There's no way we're gonna win this. Oh, wait, what was that? I can spawn more stuff! Oh! I can't though, because I haven't got any money. Enemy invasion. We're counting on you. Oh! Wait, we're attacking now, okay. I will get more money for this, I guess. Oh, hi. How's it going, buddy? Uh, quake. Uh, fire. Okay, so we, we attack to a certain extent, I guess. Right, we're going to be doing this. We're going to be doing this. We also get involved at one point. Maybe, maybe we'll get the money from this for more troops. <laughs> Ow. I'm gonna send, see how powerful he is. Grand Horn. Oh, he's a boss enemy, okay. Lucky I got Fuaga, isn't it? <laughs> or Fire, not Fuaga. That's so powerful, I love it. Grand attack. Yeah, here comes the bullshit. That wasn't that bad. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, we're fine. This is fine. Just keep spamming fire too. Fire two is fucking great. I decided it's called fire two and not fire, but I guess this game didn't do that. I don't know why it didn't do that, but yeah, sadness. Maybe Flag will come back in. I love that. We actually just win. We made it through that somehow, but Shen will be back. Be sure and scout out the area well. We don't know when they'll attack again. Are they going to attack now? Oh no. So, yeah, that's basically how this game works, apparently. We'll be coming back here across the game and helping them out. There's no activity right now. Oh, go. I can't believe I gave you money and you didn't even use it. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'm using it right now to defend the place while they're gone, but... I gave them, like... What about, literally about a million gil, I'd say. Maybe not, maybe about 10,000 gil actually. Not a million, but close to a million. It's the fort which counts. And the fort was not taken into account here. So I've been told, uh, by a friend of mine, who has helped me uh, previously with these, with these guides, that there are forests in this map that have a chance of a random encounter with someone and I think I know who they're talking about. They didn't explicitly say who it was but they did say there was a random encounter around here with someone in a forest. Now if it's who I think it is I also know they do something to you and I don't want that to happen so I, I need I need to work out um and the only thing, yeah, the only thing I, I remember was the fact that he steals all your materia. And I know who Yuffie is because of uh, V-Make. He appears as a character in that game. Well, look at this guy! He's, look at his big wings! 
I love him. Oh, he's not gonna live very long though, unfortunately. This, the, the fire I have on Cloud is really fucking good. Also, I need to change the pie members. I need to do that. I'll do that after this encounter thing. God, I wanna go see if I can find another deep on that. Which means I can get some MP back as well for my other characters. I can get, I can go invest, of course. Maybe that might be a good idea. But I could also use a tent, so I have options right now. Lots of lots of options. But yeah. Uh, problem with this game compared to six, seven, and eight is the problem with this game compared to eight, uh, uh, nine is um, trying to get through the map. <laughs> Because it doesn't have the uh, the slope, the tilt that um, nine has, where you can see a little bit ahead of you as well. So it's very hard to see which direction you're going. And I know it's a PS1 game; it was hard to do back then. But yeah, I have to work out where forests are, and I can't really do that if I can't see anything <laughs> outside of a few feet around me. Ow! No. Oh, he's flying, by the way. So Tifa can't hit him. That's fun. from them though. By the fact we are on the world map and it's past the Mythful Mines area. Which by the way, this game doesn't really have title cards. Oh, okay, here we go, here's some forest. Okay, uh how many tents do I have? Oh, I'll use a tent, yeah. And we'll uh get him a party. Uh, which involves taking the material off all these guys unfortunately, but it's just the way it has to go. But I like that I like them also have their own materia as well. It does depend if they will appear in random battle, but if that happens, there's something I can really do about that. I will always I will try and prepare them a little bit, but chances are it's gonna end up being a situation I'm gonna have to deal with. Uh, you already have stuff, but I, I want you to have all linked to the better of a store that we have. I think that's this one. Uh, uh magic. what kind of magic does Cloud have? He has fire and that's it. Okay. So you need to have I'll give I'll give you uh ice and uh you can also have poison. We'll put cover on you and scent. I think you already have sense, don't you by default then? I don't know if you do. Yeah, I think I'm gonna test it. I'll test it if he does. I'll just put enemy skill on if he doesn't. Uh, as for you, uh, Aerith, yeah, you can have sense. It's good to test, and then you can also have horses already. Fire? No, you can have cover. Actually, no, maybe you shouldn't have cover, because you're not going to be doing any covering and lightning. You know, fire, lightning, uh, da -da -da, and, and red has ice and earth and poison. Uh, you also have all on this, don't you? Is that the only orb material we have it is? I might actually take that off because it is more useful on that. And I can actually put fire 2 AoE on that and that could be fucking awesome. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Can I put poison on my blade? I actually don't know if I can. It's elemental. And does poison count as an element? I need, I need to find out. Hold on. I'll put it on and see if it does trigger poison on enemies. But I don't actually know for certain if that is the case. So let me put it on now. Try it out, see if it works. If it doesn't work, then take it off. Uh, yeah! I like this setup. I like this setup! Because now Eric has, now has the store, it's going to be much more useful, I think. I think hers is also an orb store as well, so that's where the other one comes from. Right, we're going to see if we can encounter uh, Yuffie. I, I, I assume it's Yuffie, it most definitely is. E skill. Okay, you don't have sense, okay, that's good to know. Well, Eric, I'll, I'll, I'll perfectly like you to have that red. Oh, I lost fire too. Interesting. So if I have all on, I can't use fire one. Maybe it'll switch back after I this. 
Well, either way, this is gonna kill them both, maybe. Also, I don't know if the, if the element works because I'm only using fire right now, so we'll test it out after this. Oh god, uh. Okay, we kill us, Aerith, please. I'm gonna make you defend. Oh, that's not helpful, is it? Oh, he still has, he still has AoE fire. Okay, uh, that's good to know. Um. Do a cross life then. I don't think it's gonna inflict poison damage because it's a limit break, but we'll see. Nah, died anyway, so <laughs> there's no way to test it. So yeah, we just go around this. I think it's this forest anyway. Let me just check though, because it might not be. Okay, these enemies are great. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just cut to when Yuffie appears, by the way. Okay, I found Yuffie. <laughs> Here she is. Everyone's got their limit break, by the way, so they're going to absolutely destroy her. So here we go. Right. Uh, yeah, Lunatic High. No, what, what, what does that do? What does Lunatic High do? I thought that was an attack. Okay, Red, what are we doing? Are we gonna buff this one up with attack magic, or is it gonna be just, you know, regular old magic? Nice. Lunatic Kai. I didn't do anything. I appreciate it, Red, but I didn't do anything. No, it doesn't do. I don't think it does equip do poison damage. That's sad. It was worth having a look, though. There we go, we're done. Mysterious Ninja. It doesn't have a title name card because the game doesn't have one of those. Okay, uh, so the only thing I was told was don't go into menu here and just talk to her. Oh. Oh, the music, I don't know what voice I'm gonna give her. Man, I can't believe I lost. You spiky head jerk. One more time. Let's go. One more time. Um, not interested. Wait, or uh, wait, which one of those is good? Right. I mean, I guess not interested because we just fought her. So yeah, I'll go with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking of running away? Stay and fight. Fight, I said. Come on, what's the matter? You're pretty scared of me, huh? Yeah, pet fine. <laughs> oh, her theme is so fucking good. <laughs> hmm, just as I thought. What do you expect of my skills? Good luck to you guys, too. If you feel up to it, we can go another round later. They, uh, in their integrate, uh, they, the version of the battle theme is her theme, and it is so good. I mean, I, I praise the soundtrack in FF7 a lot, uh, the remake anyway, and integrate is even better somehow <laughs> they, just, they just go crazy with the instruments in that game and for example this here yuffie's theme is just so well used and integrated that i love it it's amazing good luck to you guys too if you feel up to we can go another round later wait you're gonna leave i'm gonna leave i mean it oh wait wait what is it you still have something for me hmm so, is this that it? I know you want my help because I'm so good. You want me to go with you? Uh, that's right. You could be our party member. <laughs> Thought so. You put me in the spot. Hmm, what should I do? But if you want me that bad, I can't refuse. All right, I'll go with you. Uh, I mean, I, 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 what, yeah, what's your name? Me? The names? Yuffie! Look at her smug grin. <laughs> oh, I love this character so much. Yes, uh, welcome to the team, Yuffie. What are you talking about? You're the one who should go first. Okay, forget it. I'm not... What? No, if you piss me off, it'll cost you. Hmm. Hey, don't we have less money than before? Oh! oh, that wasn't too bad. God damn it. Jeez, you shouldn't have done that. 
So, because I tried to change her name, I, I, I missed out. I, I'm gonna try again, but... <laughs> Come on! God damn it. I mean, I guess changing her name is very personal, but let me do it again and get her back. Huh? Hey! Wait, I haven't even told you my name! Oh, game! So I could... Okay. Oh, oh, welcome, Yuffie, to the party. Yeah, I've told us your name, by the way. I'm Yuffie. Good to meet ya. <laughs> Just as I planned. Now all I have to do is a little this and a little that. Nick, nick, nick. <laughs> I'm sorry, what are those noises? Hey, wait up. Wait for me. Hey, I'll give you that money back I've stolen from you. Or, uh, what's left of it? You had... What? Uh, you got that money 10 minutes ago. Where did you go? Did you go to Fort Condor? <laughs> right, okay, so there's only a, one other place we can go here. I'm gonna have to head back to Fort Condor, get some items and provisions before we go to Kunin. Uh, at least that's, uh, yeah, we are gonna Kunin, aren't we? I assume so. <laughs> oh yeah, I wanna, I wanna have Yuffie in my team, so hold on, let me put that, let me put her in. After this combat encounter. Hey, Yuffie is now part of our party. I've also changed the material over as I usually do when I change my party. I don't think she's gonna be here long. Probably only for Juno. Uh, Juno? Ju Juno? Not, not. This is about F11. <laughs> uh, and then once we get through that, I'll switch back to probably Tifa and another character. Uh, I don't want to just keep doing the, uh, the group of Tifa and Barrett and Aerith from Red. I want to switch it out so. Even if one isn't getting as much EXP as the other, I want to design it so that they have a, a, it's a different pie variation for each area. It'd be funner that way and more interesting. Right, uh, let me go buy the items first, actually. Hello! You hang in there. I will. Uh, I'll send potions. I'll buy two tents. I'll have that. Then we'll head back down. I will say the game definitely feels a lot more traditional Final Fantasy now, with how we're just going from these core locations to another. Like the, the whole Midgar area has such a great pace, we've kind of slowed down a little bit now, but that's fine. It's not a problem at all. I just really enjoyed the pace of the first part of the game, and this is very definitely slowed down, I would say. Um, it's, it makes sense, I mean, you can't keep that pace up forever. You've got to give the players a chance to breathe after certain events, and it's nice to actually have a world map to run through. I was, there was a, a sinking feeling when I was first playing this, uh, back when I did actually forget to stop playing. I thought that... Oh my god, you have lost if you can do your feet. Oh, you can do fire too! Uh, yeah, so the problem before was I, I, I equipped the wrong fire material, so the one I had equipped was my weaker one. So he is now very powerful. Fuck yeah. Um, but yeah. So when I first played this, I thought that Midgar was maybe going to be the only area. But then obviously I found out that that was only a portion of the actual game. There's a lot more to it than that. And I'm curious to see what this does because I've only ever heard really about the Midgar stuff. I've only ever seen that in in promo stuff for this game and basically anything and it interesting to me how centralized Midgar is to the plot but you only spend about one fifth of the game there and the rest of it is spent traversing a pretty traditional Final Fantasy world. I'm wondering how the game is going to compensate for that sudden shift in tone if it even does to be fair. Uh, what is this? Oh. I would love to find out but the game's like we must do encounter first. Yeah I'm good. Come on, game. Game. You can let me leave. <laughs> Come on, game. Let me leave. There we go. <laughs> it's unnecess unnecessarily long for some of those. Right, okay. Uh, tent before we go in. In case there's no, like, home here. I'm oh, gonna go below. Okay. What is this place? Is it like the uh, Carinade from Breath of Fire 4? 
happened to this place? It's so run down. Hmm. Now, nah, while this is a fair, we almost never have anyone other than Shinra people visit this town. Run down as in this used as a weapon? Okay, I don't look like a cannon outside. Oh, well, I'll continue my trick of clicking every single surface inside of houses to try and get an item because that's what this game does. Oh, also the actual interior decoration in this game is really nice. Like even compared to 9, 9 felt very sparse in a lot of respects but this is actually really nice. It kind of shows the amount of budget that was on display here in this game. They put like everything into it. Like more so than Chrono Trigger and some of their other bigger IPs. Well, back then anyway. Because as much as I love 9, it definitely feels lower budget than some of these games. Maybe because it's more classic fantasy. But it definitely stylistically looks less interesting than it say, th say this. Not a bad game, I knew, but it definitely doesn't have as much stylistic points as this at all. Six or any of the others so, so far. If you see a weapon you want, you better buy it. Uh, you don't actually have any weapons, you are a merchant. So, uh. I won't buy anything from you because you don't have anything I want, so bye! <laughs> it is a weaponsmith, but there's no weapons in there, it's just uh, items. Ever since Sinner built that city up, up above during the war, there's been no fish in the water. It got so polluted. Phew. Mm hmm. I wonder what they built. I haven't had a good look at it yet, but oh, I'm not allowed to go down here? Okay, fine. Um, to me like a cannon from where I saw it, but it might not be. What kind of place is this? Who are you? Where did you come from? Uh, do you see a man with a black cape? Hmm, I've never seen that fellow before. Never seen a man with a black cape before. Must have not been out a lot then. <laughs> I mean, there's an odd amount of peace. Like the, the nice village music makes this place feel oddly comfy, but... Obviously, there is a giant cannon outside, uh, possibly, so... Maybe less comfy than we throw. Bunnies. Well, at least singular bunny. I, uh, used to have a bunk bed. And I will say, the extra elevation makes sleeping in a normal bed kind of weird, because... You're much further off the ground, and there's no, like... Need to climb a ladder to get to your bed as well, so there's, like, this phantom ladder in your brain whenever you get into the bed it's like wow it's so easy now i don't need to climb a ladder anymore i can just go up i'm a i'm a single child by the way but the, the way that my bed was is it had a ladder and below it was a storage area so yeah i miss my old bed i i will, I will say uh, but i got a better bed now so hey this is tuna ink elevator don't be snooping around here uh i want to snoop around more Wait. Wait, where am I going then? Am I going in this house? Can I go in this house? No. Uh Final Fantasy 7, what are we doing? Oh, there's a house right there next to the entrance, but am I even allowed to get past because of the loading screen? Oh yeah, there we go. Okay. This is probably where we're gonna go because of how well pronounced it is. Oh no, this is Nikki! The first thing I went into! God damn it! Flower! Pass flower, you betrayed me! Move! <laughs> Move! <There we> go. <laughs> uh, I don't know where I'm going. Okay, so I forgot I could even do this. <laughs> so I can shift the perspective of the camera. So this is cool. I can actually have a little look around now. Nice. I have no idea where I'm going. <laughs> I thought it was this place, but it's not. And this is the same speed back to Kunan. Which is not where I'm meant to be going. And there's only two places on the map I can go right now. You know what? I'm gonna bring out Barrett. Because I think Eris has had enough time to sh shine in this. And I feel like Barrett will be kind of fun of Yuffie for a little bit. Let's do that. I did really take out her materia because he's level 22 and Barrett just need the EXP. So we'll switch her out. I don't know if you can stay for this for this next bit, bit. Um, anyway. But let's switch over to Bear it. I think I'm in Bear with her. And I think I'm also going to turn Bear into our resident healer, which is going to be kind of funny. 
But it'll be good for him. It'll be good for him to be the healer. Oh, you didn't have a lot of slots, Barrett. Barrett! Uh, you had lightning, didn't you? Yeah. And you can, you can also have cover. So if you go and store an all, there you go. Right, good, good, nice. I would give that to Yuffie. No, no, wait, hold on, what, what is Yuffie's time? Okay, you know what? <laughs> There we go, right. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> I was wondering why I couldn't go down that path, then I thought there's light over here, and I was like, oh! <laughs> there's a staircase that goes down here, okay. To a beach. Uh, hey, Mr. Dolphin! Oh, oh. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? My name is... Priscilla. Now you say it. Another dolphin can do that, kid. Hey, you guys, you remember the Shinra Inc? No, you got it all wrong. We're fired against the Shinra. It's true. That's how it is. I don't believe you. Get out of here. Great. Well, God. No, the dolphin. Fun. I like the uh, the metaphor of the dolphin being fun about all that industrial stuff. It's definitely. So the sort of message they're trying to go for in this game. Be careful, Mr. Dolphin! What is this thing? No! Oh my god! Hey, hold on, we're coming! Did they just kill that little girl? Oh, what happened to her? He, did it eat her? No. No. Oh god, I've got his limit bake already. Oh, it's flying too. Okay, that's good about it's fucking here, isn't it? I don't know if I can even use cross latch on him. Uh do I throw the peacemaker? No. Uh, let me try steal, Yuffie. Let's do some stealing, shall we? I couldn't tell if she, st if she stole anything because of the way the, because of the text works in this game. Does anyone have sense? I think Yuffie has sense, actually. Yeah, I think Yuffie does. Time to use Bolt Bear! Oh, we're gonna get out of Yuffie's liver bacon in a minute, too. I'm curious to see what that is. Can't reach, okay, we can use that, fine. Wait, can Yuffie do anything then? I don't know if she can, actually. Uh, uh what did you just do to Barret? Oh, can Barret not attack now? Well, Yuffie, you can do something now. Oh, God, no! <laughs> I fall out the pyramid! It is killing him, is it? Is it po poison? Wait, what, 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 what are we doing now? Oh! 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 yeah, so... Y Yuffie's completely pointless in this fight. You can't do anything. That's good. <laughs> I mean, she can heal. Uh, yeah, she can heal right now, actually. Uh, well, no, not. Because greased lightning. That's a cool sounding attack. What is this? Yuffie, what are you doing? I've got my, my ninja start at you. Oh, that was good damage! And Mind Blow doesn't do anything in this, there's no point doing it. Uh, okay, you're doing that again? I think we're killing you. Yeah, we are killing you very quickly. Oh, because you're dead, that's why. <laughs> that wasn't too bad! That was actually really quick. Might be because we leveled up a fair bit. Nice. Oh, that didn't have work though. Power wrist. It's bad. You don't think he's dead, do you? I think he's alright. Priscilla! Oh, wow. It wasn't us, it was the, the creature that appeared out of nowhere. No, he's not breathing. <gasps> oh. Okay, help her. Young man, do CPR! Mouth to mouth? Yes! Cloud. Doesn't work. I mean, it scientifically it's been proven that mouth to mouth doesn't do anything, but sure. Come on, Cloud! If anything, it, I don't know, breathes some air into their airways. Actually, I think for, for drowning it does work, but not for actual, like, heart attack uh, situation. But she's just a girl. Cloud, he's dead. Stop being a stupid idiot. Do it, Cloud! What? You don't know how? Come over here, I'll show you. This is not the time for this. She's, she, uh, she is not breathing. 
guess I'm gonna do it. Take a deep breath, hold it in, then breathe into her. Hurry up and do it. I wonder if Cloud's gonna cry CPR on uh, Aerith. What is this? Press the switch button once to start the CPR gauge, push it again to stop the gauge. Uh, a part of CPR isn't only mouth to mouth, it's also... Doing right now. It's not working guys, I'm trying my best but it's not working. I think she's dead. Uh... Right now, what is this mini game? <laughs> it's not a mini game because the game hasn't told me what to do. It, uh, press push switch once to start the CPR gauge, push it again to stop the gauge. Oh, oh, it's working now. Okay, sure. Big, big, big inhales, Cloud. Guess I wasn't waiting long enough for him to do this. He's Kirby, he's turning into Kirby. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, dude, I think he might be dead. But he hasn't come back. We've been trying it. We've been trying our best, and Cloud is do certainly doing a lot of breathing right now, but. I mean, I've tried. I guess they were very shallow breaths, maybe. But can, can I go one more higher, maybe? Yeah, okay, it's not enough. We're gonna go one more higher, I think. No. That was as high as it went. We'll keep trying. Oh, it's awkward. It's an awkward control scheme because he, yeah, he doesn't react immediately to the burn input. So I don't. I'm thinking it doesn't work, but it does. So yeah, it's weird. Dude, I think I don't. This, this, this isn't working. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Uh, uh, thanks for the breath, I guess. Uh, hey, Priscilla, are you alright? Yeah, you kind of got drowned and then you, you got eaten as well. Bye! Well, that happened. I'm gonna assume that she's in this one house over here that is unattended to. Hi. Hey, come in for a while. Do you know about Sephiroth, maybe? I heard what happened. You've done so much for Priscilla. I mean, yeah, I've, I've, after being told how to do CPR. You almost be tired. If you want to get some rest, stay here. Yeah, I'll have to love them, bro. Pick up on that. Make yourselves at home. <gasps> New home unlocked in Kunan. Kew in Hi there. I'm gonna relax for a while. I, I can't imagine you relaxing, bad, but sure, we'll try later. Let's first. Yeah. As well as that, what else are we gonna do? 